Hello, welcome to jQuery tutorial, chapter 22, jQuery insert and replace HTML, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn like how to replace and insert the HTML content on the web page with the help of jQuery methods. So here comes a list of methods which help us to replace and insert the HTML elements on the web page. They are append, prepend, after, before and also we have something some methods like replace all and replace with as of now we'll understand what is append method and here comes the description what append method does is it insert the content specified by the parameter to the end of each element in a set of matched elements so uh, what append method is going to do is let me show you in the visual studio so let me take a do element so within that do let me add a, an ordered list so let me take a list of skills it is HTML HTML then it is CSS JavaScript and it is jQuery so now let me push this page to the presser, uh, browser by pressing ctrl F5 so it takes me to the Chrome browser my default browser is Chrome has a specified year so here it displays a list of skills HTML CSS and JavaScript and jQuery so my object right now is okay after this do element I need to add a paragraph so uh, how do I add a paragraph it's very simple in this manner directly we're adding the tag okay uh, directly we manually uh, we're adding the paragraph but uh, I should do that with the help of jQuery so what I need to do is first I need to specify whether my DOM is loaded or not with the help of document dot ready method so to this I'm writing a function okay what this function has to do is okay this function has to add a paragraph element after this do so I'm telling like find out the do element directly by the tag name then then append okay append a paragraph element HTML element so I need to pass HTML element as a string to the append method paragraph so I'll tell something like hello world as the content so what I'm doing is to the append method I'm passing HTML paragraph as a parameter HTML paragraph element as a parameter so what it does is after the do element it is going to add this paragraph so when I do control s let me go back and let me refresh you can observe after the unordered list we have a paragraph added so this is how append method is going to add HTML element after after the selector specified so it's adding the paragraph element after the due so suppose if you want to add the paragraph element before the due then what you have to do is you have to make use of a method called prepend method so this method is going to add this paragraph before this due element so let me go back and let me refresh you can observe right now the paragraph is added before the unordered list this is what the prepend method is it's going to add an HTML element before the uh, before the the con para before the content specified here as of now in this in this example you can observe very clearly okay it's going to add the paragraph before this due element but if I use append it's going to add the paragraph element after the due element that's the difference between append and prepend okay now let me make you understand the other methods that is after and before so what do you mean by this it's very simple so uh, let me remove this right now so here I have a unordered list so right now my objective is after CSS I need to add a new list item called angular so how do I add it it's very simple with the help of jQuery you can add it in a very simple manner so first I need to identify this unordered list you will so let me identify a list item and so I need to add uh, angular after this CSS so uh, list item stores it in the uh, zero based index so in the zeroth place we have HTML and in the first place we have CSS so I'll make use of EQ method so EQ method will find out the element which is in the post first position that is CSS so after that CSS I need to add angular so I need to call after method so after what I need to do is I need to add a list item which will be having angular as the item 
so to control us we go back and let me refresh you can observe right now after the CSS angular is added suppose if I want to add the angular list item before the CSS then I need to make use of this before method so instead of after what I need to do is I need to call before method control s we go back and let me refresh so you can observe very clearly after CSS we have angular added okay right now let me go here go back to this okay now my objective is I need to replace CSS with angular so I need to make use of replace with method okay replace with method it's going to find out this EQ one that is CSS and it's going to replace this CSS item with the angular let me go back and let me refresh you can observe CSS is replaced by angular right now so and this is what the replace with does and we are left with the one method that is replace all what it does is it replace each target element with a set of matched elements so let me show you a demo of this uh, replace uh, all how it works uh, it's very simple so what I'll do is um, let me go here and right now uh, let me remove this and let me let me remove this also So here I'm having a due element so the can let me set I'll add hello so this is a due element okay right now I'm not going to add anything here but I'll add a class called Sam okay after that I need to I'm going to add another break line I need to I'll copy the same due again and again so what I'll do here is I'll write a separate style the style the class name is Sam so I'm going to describe the styles like background color so the style is it should have a width of 200 pixel and height of 100 pixel okay and now um, individually I'm going to add the background color uh, background color will be red and this let me take the background color orange and here also let me add style background color uh, blue So now what I'll do is let me go back and let me refresh this page okay here you can observe we have three due elements with the background color red orange and blue now when I click on this okay it should this due element should get replaced by the paragraph so what I'll do is uh, in my document uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell like okay identify a due element first directly by the tag name Okay, then I'll attaching a click function to that click event to that so I'm writing anonymous function what this anonymous function has to do when click event has happened is it has to replace this due element by the paragraph so dollar here I'm passing like add a paragraph successfully okay it is I'm telling like hang pro training this is the thing it's going to add as soon as you click on the paragraph and it's going to replace this due element with this paragraph so I need to tell replace all replace all with this I need to make use of this keyword so control s now let me go here to my browser let me refresh now when I click on this you can observe that due is replaced by the paragraph so all the elements which are due elements they are replaced by the paragraph elements this is what the meaning of replace all it replaces each target elements with a set of matched elements so here you can observe I'm telling once user clicks on the due add this paragraph okay so in the sense replace the due element with this paragraph so I'm using replace all and this represents to particular this paragraph itself okay so this is what the advantage of using the replace all method and also we learn the advantage of using replace with 
repent, repent after and before. So, and that's for the day. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Anchor Training. You can also like our Facebook page, visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter, further reference refer our websites. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.